बायस वेरियंस ट्रेड ऑफ वन ऑफ द मस्ट नो कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर एवरी डेटा साइंटिस्ट एंड वन ऑफ द फेमस इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल डेटा साइंस इंटरव्यूअर्स सो वॉट इज बायस वॉट इज वेरियंस वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बायस वेरियंस ट्रेड ऑफ इफ वी नो हाउ ए मशीन लर्निंग मॉडल वर्क then can i tell if this model will have high bias or high variance we will know answer to all these questions with a simple data so what you can see here is a kids data okay so this is kids data where on x axis i have the age of the kid on the y axis i have the height of the kid okay so all of us know that beyond a certain age height of the kids will not increase that marginally right so as you can see from 5 to 8 the height is going from 120 to 152 on the other hand if you see from 8 to 11 this shift is low so i have knowingly created a data like this and we will understand everything about bias and variance using this simple data welcome to unfold data science my name is aman and i am a data scientist let's start the discussion so i have plotted here if you can see on the y axis i have height on the x axis i have age okay now let us say i tell you fit a model any model of your choice fit a model on this data you know to predict the height of the person given the weight of the person okay so what you will do let us take the example of very simple linear regression model okay so a linear regression model is nothing but a line okay so let us say these are the data points we take a line and let us say this is our linear regression line okay this is our linear regression line now linear regression line is nothing but an equation of the form mx plus c right this is a line so this line is nothing but y is equal to mx plus c right this is in the simplest form equation of a line now this is nothing but a function of x you can also say fx is equal to mx plus c so when the model fitting happens we get to know what is m and what is c and then by any given x we can compute y or fx right so this is my fx this line now why i am explaining you this is the moment we say fx the moment we say a function a function will have a form right so this is a linear form this can be a parabola form right something can be a squared function something can be a cube function so function has a form so when do we say a model is having high biases when the form of the function is biased i will repeat it again fx is the function which is fitting on this data when you fit a linear regression model if there is an underlying assumption about the form of the function then we call that model is a high bias model which means model is biased towards that form what is that form here the form is the linear form okay so this model is said to be high bias model the reason for that is there is a underlying assumption about the form of the function now what is the other way we can fit a model on this same data let us say you take a line or you take a function like this okay like this like this like this like this okay so this is your f1 let us say straight line and this is your f2 okay now if you see closely f2 f2 is just following the training data which means f2 is not assuming any form f2 is not necessarily linear it is not assuming any form it is just going as the training data is going so whenever your function is too much following the training then your function or model is said to be a high variance model now what is the difference here guys so if you see this f1 is a generalized function so high bias model will be a generalized model which means tomorrow if a new data comes new training data comes then what will maximum happen is this line will shift little bit towards this side or little bit towards up this is about high bias model what happens to the high variance model let us say a new data comes new data comes here what will happen is your entire function will change that is the issue with high variance models let us take example of some of the high bias and high variance model so to keep it very simple if you have to recollect which function have high bias then you have to simply think which function assume a form of the a form of the data or a form of the method right 
linear regression assumes there is a linear relation between x and y logistic regression assumes there is a linear relation between logit and mx plus c right so anywhere you see there is a form that becomes a high bias model what will be the example of high variance model all those machine learning models where there is no form defined of the data no form assumed of the data for example decision trees for example your svm models for example your k nearest neighbors these models do not assume the form of the data or do not undergo and try to fit a line or a function to the data with the assumption of the form those models are called high variance or low bias it is basically vice versa high variance model will have low bias and high bias model will have low variance what is the definition of variance a model is said to have high variance if at the moment i change the training data like i gave you the example if a new point is added then your entire model changes so what is what is model in this case this line so f2 will have to pass through this hence the entire f2 will change now what is the meaning here to understand is what is bias variance trade off so as i told you models with low bias will have high variance high bias will have low variance what we should have ideally is low bias and low variance how to achieve that so you must be aware of some of the uh, ensemble techniques right so ensemble techniques like bagging boosting stacking those kind of techniques will help you in reducing bias and reducing variance as well next what you can do is you can use regularization in regression right so if you have heard of lesser regression least regression those regression will help you in achieving a lower bias and lower variance in your model okay few more things to keep in mind here is high bias model will normally underfit your data underfitting means it might not give you very good accuracy on your training data and test data as well on the other hand high variance model might give you a very good accuracy on train data but not good accuracy on test data or when you expose this to new data this phenomena is also called as model overfitting when your model is doing good on train and not doing good on the any unseen data okay that is number 1 number 2 is high bias model will be simpler to understand to manipulate to work with okay so as you can see this is a line this is having high bias hence it is simple it is not very complex on the other hand high variance model will be little complex okay as you can see this is f2 little complex right high bias model will be more generic in nature you can generalize it okay high variance model will be less generic in nature you cannot generalize it on multiple data sets the last and the final point you should keep in mind is if you forget all these concepts let us say in interview this question comes to you suddenly remember just one point any model which has lot of love for the training data okay i'll just write it down just remember this one point guys lot of love for training data if your model is having lot of love for training data that model is having a high variance model okay what happens in decision tree decision tree will try to actually break your data in many many branches such such that it it can predict everything correctly right that is too much love for the training data this is too much love for the training data okay and this is less love for the training data this one thing you keep in mind and then you will never forget the concept of high bias and high variance and i told you to balance the bias variance trade off what we do is these things ensembling regularization these kind of things okay let me know what questions you have in mind i'll see you all in the next video till then stay safe and take care